live from the deepest, darkest parts of my kitchen in Atlanta, Georgia. Live from the Bear Cave in South Carolina. You've got the Keto Show with Tom, Mike, Lee, and the Grilling Dude. And special guest. And special hey. guest. Hey. <laughs> she is uh, actually... Oh. We're shooting, we're shooting a vlog while we're doing this for her channel. You want to shout out your channel? Pete's Interest. Um, haven't posted on there in about three years, so we're gonna try and kick it back and do the college life. So that's kind of her, her little goal: culinary stuff from the college life and just life in general. So. What do you have for us today, Pete? So at my college, Western Carolina, they have this really good food there, and I don't know what it's called or what's in it, but I'm taking a guess. I know there's chickpeas and there's some type of ground meat, and they just have it together. I always add feta cheese, so I'm making it for everyone here to try because me, my roommate, and a bunch of our friends go feral for it. We love it so much. And then I also thought about making <clears throat> some crunch wrap supremes from Taco Bell. Those were sounding really good today. So I'm going to be making both of those on cast iron. I have the 2020 Rosie Riv show, show. Rosie Riveter. Oh, there it is. There's Rosie. Oh, uh, come on. Do the right way. Rosie the Riveter. There it is. Okay. It's is my pan that I'm gonna use for yep. most of it, and then I have a flat skillet top on and the black or the camp stove. What's the story behind that skillet? So, <clears throat> Rosie the Riveter passed in 2020, and I started getting really into the whole statement of her, and I dressed up for her on Halloween. So for my birthday, it they got me this. It was, it was my 16th birthday. They got me the Rosie the Riveter skillet, and I don't cook on it often. <laughs> Because I don't take it to college with me, I just kind of keep it here. And so if I want to cook down here, I usually grab it. But, yeah, we're going to give it some cook time. Okay. All right. So shout out to uh, Madwood Barbecue and Tom's Food Factory. Howdy, howdy. Hello, Madwood and Tom. All right. So, Mike, what do you got? I am doing a – different take on a sloppy joe and some coleslaw and it's going to the sloppy joe instead of using ground beef i'm going to use ground pork sausage it is the sausage itself it is uh bob evans and 80 20 is like six dollars a pound ground beef is and this was like 249 a pound or for the one pound thing of it so I can do two pounds of this for less than the cost of one pound of it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to kind of put a different twist on it than what you're used to. I'm going to do it the way we used to do it when I was growing up. And uh, we called it Sloppy Joe's. And it's, uh, it's a little different. I've done it before on here with stuff, but I haven't done it with the pork and all on here. I did it with ground beef. And then I'm going to even take it a different direction and how I how I present it. So stick around. It's gonna be fun. Alrighty, alrighty, cool, cool. All right. You know, you know what we forgot, Mike? What's that? This is the first keto show live cook of 2024. Yeah. Woo! Happy New Year everybody. Happy New Happy Year. New Year. I got a feeling this year is going to be very, very prosperous for us. I hope so. This show's going to, I think it's going to take off. I mean, it's already good. I love it, yeah. Other people don't know how good it is. <laughs> yeah. So, nothing but love. Happy New Year. Hey, NBL, how you doing? So, I've got to open the garage door real quick. Hey, tell us what you're doing. Oh, I just put bacon grease on both my skillets. And I'm going to start putting my ground pork on the rosy ribbon. And yeah, 
and I'm asking you on the residue over there. And then on my flat top, I'm going to do uh, some pulled pork with a vinegar based sauce just to kind of get it heated up and do all that good stuff. And then I'll be able to start doing the crunch wrap. It really don't take much. Simple. Something to do. I'll try your home. How are you doing? I hope you all had a uh, wonderful uh, holiday. Yes, I hope y'all did. We 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 had a, a good one. We didn't do anything except watch Georgia blow Florida State out of the water. So, Mike, what you got? Uh, Dukes and what's in that coleslaw mix? Yes, it's a uh, it's like all blurred out, like blanched out. Let's try this. There you go. There we can see it. I can see carrots in it now. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. Now, carrots are, do have a little more carbs, but it's just a few carrots in here, and I'm not going to worry about it, you know. Well, and, you know, you, you, would have to, uh, you would have to eat, like, a whole bunch of that coleslaw mix to exactly. get enough carbs to jack up your sugar. Exactly. You know, you're going to get more from the sugar or just just eating in general. Yep, you're right. And I'm going to do all this bag of coleslaw mix. And this was, uh, I got it on a good buy at uh, Ingles. I like a good coleslaw mix. This was, uh, it was close to the date and they had it for half price. So, yay. Yep, I was on uh, that barbecue slaw mix for a while where I took the coleslaw mix and then added in the uh, barbecue sauce. Oh. Uh, I used the vinegar sauce from Sheely's. Yeah. I found that, and I I just put enough on. I run the knife through the coleslaw to get it a little bit, the cabbage, to get it a little bit smaller. Yeah. A little finer, and then... I add just enough sauce to cover it. I don't want it drowning in it. I just want to cover it. Right. All right. And I tried it with a a um, mustard sauce. Yeah. Like from Blue's Hog, which is my probably my favorite mustard sauce. And woo Uncle Steve's um, sauce with no name. Oh yeah. Yes, just just enough to cover it to take that bite away from the the, the slaw, the, the cabbage. There you go. That sounds yeah. wonderful. Man, I'm telling you what. And pinky wave them. Okay, so Pay, you got your uh, you got it rolling right there, huh? Yep, I'm adding just a good chunk of pulled pork. Uh, on the skillet. Yeah. Then you're gonna, you're gonna put some uh, crab on there? Yes, on the other side. Mm -hmm. And then I have my ground beef over here. Ground to, pork? Or pork. Ground meat. Yeah. Uh, so, peanut. So she was trying to figure out what's in this, whatever we're calling it, the. What did we say it was? The catamount? Catamount cuisine. Catamount cuisine, catamount feed, I don't know. Okay. It's, she goes to Western Carolina, which their mascot's the catamount. Hey, what, what is, is a catamount? A catamount is basically just a mountain cat. Okay. Any kind of mountain cat. Hmm. All right. Yeah, so... But we don't know what really what this stuff is, and she gets it. And it's kind of like it's almost like a dirty rice without rice, but with chickpea. All right, is what it sounds like to me. But I don't know because I'm not around there, and I don't. Also, if you are wanting something super protein packed, this any meat with chickpeas is super protein packed. Yep, and it fills you up. So we always get it for extra protein because we walk. 
literally everywhere on campus. Uphill, downhill. Always. Because <laughs> Kaluuya is in the mountains. Yeah. That's um. Oh, let's see. Got any vinegar sauce? Okay. So you're getting ready to add. Watch nope. Mike cut up open his sausage. Yep. All right. Let's slide over here. I'm using chilies, vinegar, and pepper sauce. Yep, just a little bit. Shake. I'm putting this in a cold pan. Only because I don't want it to cook too fast. And I, I, it gives me a chance to let it, you know, kind of do its thing at a little slower rate. Now, this sausage, I've already used some of it. And it does not produce a lot of uh, fat in the uh, grease. So I was real pleased with that. Mm -hmm. I nice. the ground beef. Ground beef will produce a whole lot more than sausage will. And sausage looks like it's got a whole lot more fat in it. Right. I don't understand that. I don't know. So, Mike, we're going to have to get together soon so I can get you a cast iron skillet. There you go. <laughs> I need one. Uh, I got a. I tell you what, this is a ninja cookware. This is my uh, the wok. I'm using it because I like how high size for doing this. Yeah, because it doesn't splatter near as bad on the onto the stove. And it's a, uh, it's got. Hold the camera um, This is the closest I've seen to cast iron without being cast iron. I was, I like this stuff. So. Uh, as it cooks, I'll four, break it down even more. Two, one, eight. Sorry, guys, I, I, I got sidetracked. Swipe to the swipe, hud wipe, hud wipe, and then two. There we go. That's all right. I get sidetracked all the time. Yep. Trying to set up the little recorder here for Pay to get a little bit of her vlog in. There you go. So if you see me, hello. Put a link to the it, what chat? What what was the name of the channel again, Pay? Pete's interest. So I will. Let me see if I can find it. Um. Yeah, let me let me see if I can find it. Uh, Joanne, how are you doing? Canada, how are wow, Port Alberta, BC, in the house. All right. Wow. Hello. Wow. Right. So I've been following a guy. Um, to the pork, I'm just gonna add a little bit of Uncle Steve's Uncle Steve's SPG. Just for a little bit of flavor, kind of help embrace the pork flavor. I've been following this guy from, um, oh, what's the island up there on the West Coast? Uh, Alaska? Uh, Alaska? No, no, it's in Canada. Prince Albert? Nobody's been there. Anyway. He's a van life guy, so he's a van city van life. Uh huh. Is the name of the channel, and uh, I've been following him for a while, and, and you know a couple other guys up in Can Canada that's doing the, the van life stuff. It's pretty neat. Vancouver Island, that's what it is. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Yeah, the van city van life is the name of the channel, and. Uh, Uh, so Joanne, is there is there a Prince Albert Island too? Is I, or am I just making something up? Mm -hmm. 
Prince Albert Island. I know there's Alberta. Um, oh, she's on day three of the Carnivore Challenge. That's cool. That's that's. Are you doing like the the BB and E or the just straight? What did uh what did Kip call it? The sea uh, lion diet. Where he was eating nothing but uh, fish and um, seafood. Yeah, seafood and and the heck, seafood and um, blah, 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 blah. and beef. Sorry, kind of beef and beef. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. I was trying to find the table. Deer, fish, duck. Wow. I like that. Ooh. Yeah, there was a... Uh, I don't know what I was going to say. I was trying to find Paige's channel so I could show you everybody, but uh, I'm having difficulties. Um... Let me do it this way. Are you going to be cooking this Sunday? Well, one of us are. Yeah. That's what I mean. I mean the channel going to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So here is Pay's channel. Doesn't want to show, does it? I like it. <laughs> Thank you. She's got 18. It's been a while. It's been three years since she's uploaded. But. Yep. Bat 13, how are you doing? Kent, how are hey, you? Doing? Uh, Prince Albert. Uh, Pencil, uh, Peninsula. Located on the nest, Victoria Island, separated from the Banks Island, Prince of Wales Strait, two large waterways. Nice. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, oh, hey, I was going to video a little more, but you already pulled stuff off. Yeah. I'm like triple duty in here, huh? I'll tell you what. <laughs> Oh, uh, some lame abandoned crap as my channel. Oh, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. How are you, Charlie? Pickles, barbecue. There it is. I was thinking about taking some out, but I just got to leave off of it. You're doing the... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the chickpeas. Okay. So I have a can of chickpeas, rinse, drain, full shebang. They're just canned, nothing crazy. Can of chickpeas, all right. Did you, you, did you say you drained them? Yeah, I drained them, rinsed them, kind of getting okay. all the other stitches off. Okay. Um, I'll probably add some barbecue sauce to this just to make the color look a little bit right. So just, all right. Let this go for a little bit, kind of in the grease. We're going to start to Woo! turn it on warm. Just, How's that? Charlie comes in and then you get the flames reaching up over the top of the skillet. Hey. <laughs> I don't know. And we should have a Bombay tonight, folks. <laughs> I wish. And I'm just adding more bacon grease to start um, crispening up the tortillas for the crunch wrap. And then I'm going to also cut some lettuce. In the smaller pieces, chunk of this whenever you bite into it. Kent, I gotta go to the doctor tomorrow, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna say you gained. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure my A1C is still high. Oh, most definitely. 
Because, I mean, it, it's hard to maintain and lower your weight or your A1C over Thanksgiving and Christmas. I did okay for Thanksgiving. We had, I had a big just card counter, you know, uh, tortillas. And then we also were pop on these. They're zero net card tor- mini tortillas, and they are Chipotle flavored. Oh, yeah. So, so you're, you're toasting those up? Yeah. I'll throw them. Because if you think about the crunch wrap, they have, whenever you build them, you put down the big one, and then you build your stuff, and then you put a hard shell corn tortilla, one of those corn flat ones, and then you fold everything up. So she's going to toast these to make those the, the crunch part. Shell. Okay. Okay. Kent lost 16 pounds. Congratulations. Go Kent. That is awesome. My last trip to the doctor with labs, um, my uh, A1C was 5.4. Okay. Total cholesterol was 170. The work for eyes were 45. Um, LDL was 99. HDL was 70. All right. And I'm going to add barbecue sauce and. Tom's Food that. Factory says he ate something green tonight. Given that uh, the state of Ohio is legal, I'm. Sure, it was in his brownies. Uh, <laughs> was it Kermit? <laughs> uh, so, Joanne, um, the keto breads, there's there's a few out there. And the one that I like a lot is the Arnold keto bread. And yeah. um, they have the keto thins and they have loaves, hot dog buns, hamburger buns. And the big thing, the, when I get them, I don't eat, like, it's because I want a sandwich. Like, I don't eat, like, you know, the whole loaf in a day or something. But um, right. but I like these tortillas, too. These low-carb, the lap banderita ones are really good. Yeah. These, um, these missing okay. ones are, are really good. They have a tomato basil. A oh, that was a good too. Chipotle, and I think there was another one that was really good. Uh, roasted chickpeas make fantastic snacks. Yes, speaking yep. of snacks, I don't get into the whole uh, chickpea thing. Come on I in. It's time for you to try this. Oh, so Paige's got one of her things done. Yes, everything else is toasting. It's not exactly how the school makes it, but it's not. You know, it's still really good. I nice also, job, Kent. I add uh, feta cheese on top just because I, I truly like am in love with feta cheese. Jolly mm. giant. So can you see that's that's all the fat that was produced right there. That's all okay. the grease that came out of it. Okay, Cheese. okay. That's not bad for sausage. No, no. it's really not. It's twice that much with ground beef. Just Jason and Keto more. How are you doing, Jason? Hey, Jason. How's the uh, chuffle thing going? The, uh, was it the, the 30 day challenge or 12 days of chuffle? Seemed like every day there was a different chuffle video. Well, I got to get over and ca- catch up. I've, man, my life has been turned upside mm-hmm. down since before. Um, well, that- Christmas, uh, before Thanksgiving. So there's Pace. What do we call that? Catamount? Catamount cuisine. Catamount cuisine. You don't really know what's in it, but it's bomb. So Pop, come on in. Try some. Did 12 days straight. I'm chuffled out right now. Oh, jeez. Buddy, I'm telling you, I was watching it and I was like, there's some cool combinations, but I haven't recovered from the last time I made chuffles a month and a half ago. Alright, so we're going to we're going to try this thing that Pei made. It's not exactly what 
it usually tastes like. But I don't know what that meat is, so it's good um, interpretation. 400 what? All right. So she's still videoing. This is the the catamount feed or well, catamount cuisine. Mm -hmm. And then we got our tortillas. Mm -hmm. We got our the catamount feed. All right. So let's try this out, Pete. I have no idea what this stuff tastes like. Or what it's you not exact. That's what it tastes like, but it's good for just picking a meat and using it. I don't, I don't know anything about this. She was telling me about it in the store, and I was like... Like, y'all, I called my roommate, and even she was like, oh, my gosh, you're making it? I don't know about this. I really don't. I love it. Uh -huh. And if I find the right meat, then it's going to be even better. Like, it's good. It's an odd combination, but it's really good. Right. I don't know because the chickpeas are good. The chickpeas and the, and the sausage are good, but the the feta just throws it off. Well, I I love feta. Oh, um, so it's like eating a mouthful of Parmesan cheese. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you, Pay. I like I like them too. So, I like that feta. I like feta. Feta's good. I'll sometimes put it in coleslaw. Mm -hmm. In coleslaw? Yeah. All right. So let's, let me get caught up here. Now I'm doing Brussels sprouts with my bro. Oh my goodness, Chinese broccoli. Oh yeah. With chow mein, hot and sour soup. Man, Caribbean curry chicken on Friday. Wow. Holy moly. Red beans and rice on a Cajun holiday trinity. Shrimp and into it. Nice. All right. Nice, what nice, I'm nice. Doing now, folks, is I'm putting ketchup and mustard in this, and this makes the sloppy part of the joke. Okay. Let's see. How much do you put in? How much do you want? You know. Now, is that, the, is that the exact amount? Yep. Mm -hmm. How much, ever how much you want, that's how much you put in. Now, I have not added any spice to this because I'm wanting the flavor of the sausage to shine through. So, is that like the um, the uh, the the level? Level uh, or a, a heaping amount of just enough. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Not a not a not a Still. bit more. <laughs> a heaping amount of just enough. Yeah. Okay. A heaping amount of just enough. I like that. So it's it's you know just about time your ancestors yeah whoa. Yep. Yep. That's the way I season. This is what my mom used to make. For us, and we need it. We love it. Yeah. Okay. So, Mike, let's 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 put up a challenge for next week. All right. How about we do a lasagna soup? Lasagna soup. You got a deal. Lasagna soup. So I, we went, uh, my dad was in town, and this one restaurant that we used to go to when my mom was alive, um, we he wanted to go there, and we were like, all right, cool. And they had lasagna soup on the menu, but they were out. Oh, no. That, that was like their special, and they were out. And I was like, okay, now I want, now I want lasagna soup. Yeah. I hate it. Guess what? I've never had lasagna soup. So that's the first for me. But I'm going to make it with all my heart. So, 
I reckon between the two of us, we can come up with two different variations of a lasagna soup. I got to believe there's there's at least two out there. And I, well, I almost, sometimes I will uh, Google things like this and see what they say, but I'm going to just wing it and see what I come up with on my own. Yep. Yeah, I, I usually take like I'll, – I'll, I'll look it up and I'll find several different – Recipes, yeah, and, and mix it together. I mean, whatever I'm sounds sure. good. Yeah, I know what goes in lasagna. So, how hard is it to come up with some the stuff to put it in the soup? I like this. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think I think we can come up with something. So that's our challenge for next week. You got a deal. Whether whether dude or Mr. Tom comes back. That's the that's the challenge. So y'all hear that? Was All that right. Nice? Yep. I got to get some more mustard. Uh oh. Hey, starting to build. We're trying to watch you, Pay. Sorry. So I just have I put Thousand Island on the bottom because we're gonna do kind of like Reuben style cash wrap. Just what we had left over from the Sunday. Um, <clears throat> So I fried the tortillas, and now they're like hard. They're crisp, crunchier. So I put a thin layer of Thousand Island on the bottom of the big tortilla. And then I put pulled pork, and then the crunchy piece on top, and then sauerkraut. So flip the so the sauerkraut's on top of the pork with the Swiss cheese in between. No. And then the crunch piece goes so. to where you fold it. No. Oh, okay. So, so I've been told. I've been told. So what you do is you put your meat in your queso or whatever you want to use as a, like as a sauce yep. on the bottom, okay. and then you put on your crunchy tortilla, and then your toppings and stuff on top of that crunch piece. So then, now that I have that built, all I'm missing is the cheese. So everybody that's been building crunch wraps on YouTube have been doing it wrong. Well, this is how I say you're supposed to do it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is how I do it, and I think it looks a lot like Taco Bell's way, and it just looks good. So okay. Take it in a piece of Swiss, put it right on top. Okay. Okay? And then you fold side up all the way around, making it kind of like a pentagon. Now let's see how this tastes. All right, and then you go. Yep, and then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to set it right on top, and I'm going to turn this back up. It was on. It should still be hot. Yeah. yeah. And so now I'm just going to put it here, and I'm going to put it right in the hot spot in the very middle. Okay. And then I'm going to start building a normal crunch wrap. All right, let me see what Mikey's doing. I got this all mixed together. This is uh, and what I did was I just used a paper towel to soak up the grease with some paper towels, and that worked out great because it wasn't much. Right. And I didn't want to get all of it. I wanted to leave some of it in there because that's flavor. I had a discussion with a lady the other day. And she was like, "Oh, fat is flavor," and I said, "Yes, to an extent." Right. If you have too much and it makes it greasy, exactly. it's not beautiful. Exactly. So you have to kind of watch. There's a line. There's a line. You can't cross it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you have too much and then it's greasy and it's not, and then your leftovers are not good eats. <laughs> yep. We have that with. Uh, Sometimes with pulled pork, you'll get people that don't pull the fat out mm -hmm. because they're like, fat's flavor. Well, when I go to pull it out and you see all that layer of fat in between the pulled pork, when you reheat that, then it tastes like a greasy rag. Yeah. But I love, okay. I love having a little bit in there, but I don't want a lot. Right, right. And if I'm okay. gonna, add, if I want to have add more, it'll, I'll put olive oil in it or avocado oil or something like that, or butter. 
Chaffles with carnivore flour. What is in carnivore flour? Oh, is that ground chicken skins? It sounds like it. So can can you use pork rinds? Yeah, I'm guessing. Oh, I would think so. Because I know that we we can grind them to make do the breading. That's <laughs> fine as it doesn't get as fine as uh, flour. Right. Let me, wow, let me right. zoom in. Let me look, let me zoom in here a little bit. Okay. That looks really good. There. How's that? <laughs> wow. Y'all see that better? Oh. Hey, that's a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Because I was looking. Yeah, my dad, we were watching that. Uh, was it, what's his name? Flav, City Flav? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Bobby, whatever. Bobby, Bobby Parrish. Yeah, and he does the, um, the, Bobby approved stuff, and we were watching his as he was walking through one of the stores, and we happened to go to Sam's Club, and my dad was like, "Hey, there's a almond flour." And I said, "Man, I've got I bought a bag of that, and I have so much of it because I don't use it anymore. I've kind of gotten away from using it. I use it some, but nowhere near as much as I used to. Uh, you know, kind of making the chaffles. I mean, I watched Jason, and he does." All kinds of crazy ones, and I just got chaffled out really quick. Yep. My wife doesn't eat them, so it's just me that eats them. Mm hmm But. All right, Pay. so so tell us what you're doing while you're doing it. So. Which, um, this, which, which flavor is this one? So this is your Reuben style. Okay. And I you got to do the quotations because it's not a Reuben. I said style. Yeah, it's 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 Reuben style. So I have a dollop of Thousand Island, and I'm just taking my spoon and I'm just smearing it to about the size of the crunched tortilla. Okay. Again, just estimating, wiping the excess off. Then I'm grabbing the bowl. I need to get like a different color cutting board laid down there for you. <laughs> when pork and crowd the pork. This is the one with the vinegar sauce in it. And I just take about two scoops just like that. And then go in with the tortilla. The toasted tortilla. Yes, the toasted tortilla. Chipotle. The Chipotle. Chipotle is my mom. <laughs> mom. Y'all remember that? What was it? Uh? Vine. A what? A thorn? A, a close. Okay. It was something, that, and they used to do that all the time. And there was some lady that went to Chipotle, like, what was it, twice a day? No, it was a kid. It was a kid? And then um, I just have it right on top. And that, the one I'm about to put on, the first one is actually going to come off. We can go ahead and flip it. And it's all toasted. Nice. Cheese. I bet that first one's done. It is. And we just fold it and smack it down. Whew. It's a little toasty, so we're gonna just turn the heat down. Yeah. Turn that down to low. <clears throat> Man, can't wait to get into that. That's gonna be well, so. Time to get into it. Huh? Time. Come on. Oh, she's ready for taste test. Look at there. Yeah, buddy. Give us a money shot. There it is. There's the money shot. Look at that. So you can see the port, the kraut, the layer. Mm -hmm. There we go. Trumpet master, what are you doing, buddy? <clears throat> uh, so you. Joanne says yes, you can uh, just dehydrate meat, and you can use pork grinds. Hmm. Okay. I might have to try that. I got to get the cheese. Trumpet Master, we, we are... Uh, Pay is making a crunch wrap using... And then pulled, here is my take on the regular one. The first one was pulled pork and sauerkraut. 
This one is queso ground taco meat, a quesadilla, cheese, sour cream, and lettuce. Okay. And we're using keto shells. And yeah. So Pop, if you want to come and try yours. Yep, let me uh go ahead and get it plated up while we see what Mikey's doing. All right. Oh, I'm fixing to make my sandwich. Well, we you're on the big screen. Okay. I'm getting the bread here. Now I'm using the Nature's own because that's what I could find. It's the uh, let me get it over here. Well, well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna... Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's on keto. There's been two keto breads that I found that uh, don't affect my wife's blood sugar, and that's the Aldi and this. The rest of them, it can give her a bit of a spike, but these two, they don't do that. So that's that's a good thing. So I'm going to. I have not tried the Nature Zone. Um, I see it, but I I'm I like the Arnold, so I just go with that. Yeah. This, wrong with that. Now is that Nature Zone um, a thicker slice? It's a little bit thicker, yeah. Okay. It's a little bit thicker, which you can cut that in half. That Maybe. looks like a Texas mm -hmm. toast. Yeah, it's a it's it's kind of between a Texas toast and a regular slice. You're right. Closer okay. to a Texas toast though. So let me show you what I'm gonna do for this. Let me get a paper towel. And get my mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Oh, so what what's anybody got cooking this week? Uh, that's always the, the the question we always that everybody asks is what's cooking. Yeah. Good looking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you have trouble getting keto bread to brown and toast, do this. This is uh, just the mayo that I'm putting. Mayo tray. Uh huh. I promise you it will toast right in. Let's see. Let's see your phone. Then I'll get you making one. Now, do you like the mayo trick better than butter? Yes. Yes, because the mayo spreads better than butter does. Especially the uh, the stick butter, because and I don't use anything but the stick. It's hard as a brick bat. Now, now have, you, have you used the parquet spray uh, uh, spray butter? I have not. Ooh. I like that. It does always work. Now, I'm going to spoon this some up on here. Oh, yeah. All right. Get a little little B roll there for Phoebe. Is there a keto bread that doesn't taste like cardboard? Well, yes. Yes. This one <clears throat> and the Aldi bread are the only ones that don't to me. Yeah, the the Arnold one I doesn't taste like cardboard. Mm -mm. The one you always do? Yeah. I'm not a huge, like, keto-y person. Like, I'm not going to sit there and do keto, but that bread I will use, and it tastes exactly the same to me. No issues. And, and a, you know, kind of the disclaimer that the reason why I do keto breads is because of the white starches. Yep. I've, I've found it. i found since um, all my treatments and stuff, that the the high starches and white starches and biscuits and breads and pastas really mess with my my joints and pay has somewhat of a gluten intolerance that she doesn't uh, abide by 
<laughs> What's up, dude? Um, so, um, Chaffles whole salmon. Ooh, and roast. Nice. Uh, mayo toast well. Oil and egg. Yep. MBL says, uh, I like the taste of cardboard. Well, then, then let me tell you, buddy, there is a channel out there. And he gets, he is, it's all based around frozen pizzas right now. Polly Detmer. Yep. And he gets these frozen pizzas. And so if you like cardboard, you, you, you might check that dude out. Polly's got some good stuff. The only downside to his channel that I can find is he's a T-Ton fan. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now this is cooking. I'm going to toast up like a grilled cheese sandwich. I put cheese on both sides of the meat. And here's a little trick, too. I'm going to take and sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper on here on the outside of the bread. And yes, okay. just a little. Okay. And that will get, I will add you some serious flavor to that. You know what I'm going to do also? I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder on it too. Whoa. Come on. Toast the garlic. Yep. Not a lot, just a tad. All right. So let me get back to Peg. She's up here munching, so let me... Uh, there you go. Let's, let's get her in. <clears throat> Smell. You still got the gas on? Yeah. Yeah. If you're done, turn it off. There you go. Turn it on nicely under there. Whoa. So the cheese will melt good. I've got it on a low heat right now, low to medium. Look at, Look that. at that. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, that's a funny yeah. shot. That is you see how she's got them one of each one. Yep. Nice. Yes, sir. Nice, nice, nice. So she's wanting me to do the taste test real quick. There you go. Go for it. So this Carolina or this 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 feed. What are we calling this? Colby feed? Catamount feed? Catamount cuisine. I don't know. It's not bad. I don't mind the chickpeas. The feta, I think you got a little too heavy in. I don't think so, but I also added If it was if it had mozzarella in it, I think, or pepper jack, I would like it better. Yeah, your personal cheese. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I'm done with that. Hmm. Here's your Ruben's inspired. I'm going to get down here up to your level. Uh huh, whatever. <laughs> Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. Hey. Oh. Oh, yeah. Try the regular one. I love it. So it's like Taco Bells. All right. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoop, whoop. Doodle, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Uh-uh. Mm. That's like identical. That's pretty darn good. I haven't had a Taco Bell crunch wrap in like a long time. Ages. <clears throat> but I think it, the only thing it's missing would be the um, tomatoes and beans. Yep, the bean, the refried beans and the tomatoes. Yeah. Otherwise, spot on. Yeah, I went down the back. I'm a pulled pork kind of guy. <clears throat> I love pulled pork. That's mm. a regular one, pulled pork. All right. Mm. Well, that was incredible. 
Well, you second here, Mikey, and let's see where we're at. And it's so easy. It's so easy. A college student can do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, that was a piece of the meat that got really dark. <laughs> Looks delicious. Great job. Um, wellness with Frugal Mama. How are you? Hey, Frugal Mama. Uh, greetings, more. everyone. Uh, I have two more crunchies, so I might as well use them. Yeah. Do what you need to do, baby. Uh... <laughs> I dig fed and good stuff. It's, it, I think it's because it's, it was just so overpowering. The, uh, and I don't know what this, what was it? That just the grease? No, there I was added in, barbecue sauce. Oh, you added a little barbecue sauce. Okay. I added a good bit of um, the no name. <clears throat> oh, the, the sauce was no name? Yeah. The Uncle Steve's. Heck yeah. I've only used Uncle Steve's. Add hot food. sauce. <clears throat> Whoa. Really you know, I've got a hot sauce in there that's a barbecue base. Mm -hmm. um, it was from the Hot Ones Challenge. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, the bar yeah. barbacoa. Barbacoa, it's uh, Los Calientes. And that is some good stuff. That'd be killer on the... Uh, French wraps. I also did mine in sour cream. We, I tried it earlier, y'all. If Ooh, you yeah. can you get a brisket dip, Oh, okay. Do that with a crunch wrap. Huh. So they don't know what you're talking about. Well, you can explain it better than I can. Yeah. So we were at Sam's Club. And, you know, we go down the, uh, you know, the dips, refrigerated section and all that, right? Uh-huh. And they have a, where they have the pimento, the palmetto cheese. Yeah. The, the pimento cheese made by Palmetto. Palmetto, yeah. Um, they had a smoked brisket dip. Ooh. And it tastes like a loaded pepper jack queso. Mm -hmm. It was really good. And that's what Paige's talking about. Okay. So she made one with the case with that dip. For lunch, and she was like, "This is, would you call it bussin?" Yeah, bussin. Yeah. How did, how did bussin became a become a? That's awesome, dude. Great. I don't, I don't know. Words just kind of come up in the slang, and it just sticks. If it sticks, it sticks. If it doesn't. It disappears. I'm just wondering because, like, you know, when you think of bussin, you're like the Greyhound or the school bus. Yeah. No, yeah. I think like bussin, like after being. I'm like, it's so good. Like, yeah, not I mean, busting. It's, like, it's not busting, it's busting. Busting. Yeah, like we're getting on the, we're, we're busting to the, to the next state over. We're busting to school. No. We're busting to the ball game. No. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is for old dogs. Maybe that's what it is for old dogs. Can't learn <laughs> For all old dogs. Oh. So, is your uh, your catamount feed about like what you have at school? No. <laughs> no. No. What's different about it? It's a different meat, and it has that. It's a different taste. Okay. It's still really good, and I love it. But I need to figure out what the heck that meat is because I don't know what it is at all. Could it be like brown lamb? It could be. It's Ooh, like a deep red brown, and it's super, it's not like stringy, but it's thin and like small. It, like um, it's not. It's kind of like pulled pork, but small. Hmm. Chopped beef. Maybe. I don't know. Well, anyway, we tried. It's still really good. Hey, she. She made it. She likes it. And she can make it to her friends. Mm -hmm. And for $5? Yeah. Hey. 
could be. That, that could be it, Tom. That might be. I can send a picture of it next time I get it. Yeah, because she she called her couple friends and they were like, uh, like we no don't know, knows. but it's just good. So <laughs> yeah, it's just good. Like no one really knows what it is other than that's really freaking good. Five dollar dinner, baby. How college kids like to do it. All right, so let's see what Mikey's got. Oh, there it is. Oh yep. Yeah. I like it. Yep. That looks good. Now, my dear. Yes. Is that, is that Miss Page? Yummy. Hi, Miss Page. Hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes my day every time I make her happy with food. Nice. Now, can you describe it without saying it's good? It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. It's delicious. It's a little sweet, maybe, in the sauce. That's the ketchup, probably. Ketchup. But I use the uh, sugar free ketchup, so. Cheese, that cheese in it? Yep. Easy. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Woo! I love nice. it. Nice. Mm. Way we just got that all the way around. Yours look really good, too. She's Thank been walking you. in the living room. I've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I, I was trying to get with Faye today, and I said, what do you want to make? She's like, I don't know. I don't know. I told them all just throw stuff together. And then she's like, I can take this back to school. And I was like, heck yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I'm figuring out a way I can cook in my dorm room without a kitchen. <laughs> yeah, so the last... The last building she was in in her dorm they had a community kitchen this dorm doesn't have one oh so okay. she has to go to a friend's apartment and cook over there hmm. i'll tell you what if you want to invest in an appliance that can cover everything you need there's two that you could go with one is a slow cooker the mm -hmm. other is a instant pot yep I just have to be careful because we're not allowed to have any like hot plates or anything. Right. Yeah, they're, not, they're not allowed appliances in the dorm room. Oh. So we have to kind of mm. keep it under wraps, keep it hidden. Yeah. And she was thinking about asking me to take the uh, electric Blackstone. And I was Maybe. like, I, I'd be down with it if y'all had the community kitchen, but you don't have it. So. But that. You know, because I, you, if you put it on high and you let it heat up, it will cook a hamburger on, in a uh, in a uh, slow cooker. It will do. It. Yeah. Um, I also have to think about how I can clean it mm -hmm. in a bathroom sink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, that would yeah <laughs> be your dilemma on that. So, so Tom says, take a small charcoal grill what's funny tom is in front of the dorm <laughs> there yeah. are those public like the uh they're like little the park camp grills uh-huh you don't to have fire within 50 or 20, 50 feet of the yeah camp there's the dorm there's those but they're not allowed to use them because you can't have a fire with them so close to the dorm Wow. So it makes no sense that you got this grill in front of the dorm, but they can't use it. Right. So Are we we coming up on an hour here. Yes, sir. It's about time to go eat. Yep. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Yep. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Same. Keto time, same keto channel next week. And yep. we will we will uh 
be doing the lasagna soup challenge. Lasagna soup. All right. Faye's going to kick that one around. I have a couple and... ideas already. There you yep. go. Yep. There you go. Uh, I, think, I think the palmini noodles are going to come out. I can Maybe. see that happening. I can see that. I have a little different of an idea. Like oh, a okay. Onion. So we may do two versions. Whoa. What's up, what's up? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm pondering, I'm pondering uh cauliflower rice for it. Oh, okay. Might need to have that. Give that a try. Or what if you um get the cauliflower florets and slice uh -huh. them? Oh, now that's a thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, excellent yep. ideas. Yep. Yep. We will kick it around. All so, right, folks. Thank y'all for tuning in, and we will see y'all next week. Send us out of here, PB. Bye, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good rest of your day. We'll see you guys next week. Later. In stream.